has literally been everywhere and I'm so excited to watch it for the very first time with you tonight. I'm Sarah, your fangirling bestie who is way too obsessed with movies and TV shows and welcome back to my channel. To be completely honest, rom-coms are not usually my thing. I just, I don't know why, but I just find them like boring and weird. Most of them boring and weird. And I just find them like not nearly as fun as like action adventure movies or comedies, but I love watching new movies. So I am so excited to watch Anyone But You and find out what all the hype has been about and see for myself if it's worth the hype or if it's not worth the hype. Mostly I'm just here to have a good time and watch a super fun cute movie with you so let's get into this. Quick shout out to my Patreon besties who get early access to my YouTube videos like this one, Discord chat rooms, bonus content, and a whole lot more. Y'all are the best. If you want to join my Patreon you can check it out at the link in this video description below. And without any more wait let's react to anyone but you. Be sure to like this video and comment all of your thoughts on anyone but you and subscribe to my channel for all of my movie reactions and let's get into this. already giving rom-com vibes. Just her running through the street. Ugh, I love Sydney Sweeney. I love her outfit. I actually haven't seen her in anything like Euphoria. I haven't watched that and I haven't watched Madam Web yet. I want to watch Madam Web so bad. Like I know that it has horrible reviews and I know that people don't like it, but I love Marvel. So I think I'm going to react to Madam Web, but I just love Sydney Sweeney as like a human. My God, she's so cool. <laughs> so I'm very excited to actually watch a movie with her for once. You got to pay up there. Oh. <laughs> Establishments that serve food or drink must be open to the public regardless of their purchasing class. Sorry, it's our policy. Okay. Oh, that's him. Is that him? She knows a lot of bathroom trivia. <laughs> uh, honey, about to order. Do you want your usual? No. Is he really? He kept the light on till like midnight last night. <laughs> I did, didn't Oh my I? god, I hate it when they do that. I hate it in movies when they do that. But I mean, he's helping her out, so it's kind of, it's good. Oh, and the bread. It's grilled cheese night. And she is part of the purchasing class, so can we get the bathroom key? <laughs> we love a hero. Even just a bathroom hero. <laughs> you know a lot about bathroom law. Yeah. That was a short chapter. She took a chapter on bathroom law. It's interesting. Can't leave my wife. Oh. Oh, he's committed to the bit. See you on the other side. <laughs> oh God. That reminds me so much of on New Girl in like the wedding episode. I think it's the season four first episode. Whenever Jess is trying to get with the best man and then he she follows him to the bathroom and he's like, I'll come back with stories. <laughs> That's seriously just as awkward. <laughs> Hallie, I just met this guy and I don't know. That bathroom echoes. Are we sure he can't hear her saying all this? And then he might have just... Stolen. That's the lock to the bathroom. They take this very seriously. The times I'm supposed to be meeting people, doing things. Okay, I swear, even if she turned that faucet on full blast, I don't think it would have sprayed her pants that much. That's actually so smart. I would have just walked out and been like, it sprayed. She is an acrobat. Okay. <laughs> He's like, wife, you good? And I, I, I didn't want to ask anyone where the bathroom was because I didn't want them to think I was a weak and not a problem solver. Okay, the asking where the bathroom is is a very real, <laughs> like, anxious person insecurity. Like, I hate asking where the bathroom is. Oh my god, so awkward. I. Oh, you're just gonna walk away. You don't know what to say. Oh, hey. No. So are you gonna ask me out now? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Oh, he's not gonna tell her. That's so rude, kind of. I'm Ben. I'm B. Ben and B. Perfect already. Okay, there you go. That was actually really sweet. He didn't embarrass her at all. He didn't even tell her. That was actually really sweet how he just like got it off without telling her. I was a gymnast. Gymnast. We are getting full on romantic montage. Wasn't she just at work at her internship or was it over for the day? Is she just skipping work to hang out with this guy? <laughs> I'm sorry, my life is a disaster right now. Might be turning the corner. I love that they're eating grilled cheese with the bread that they bought at the at the coffee shop. That's actually cute. Is this all within one day? Why do you have a giant wrench? My mom gave me that. She said, no matter how broken something is, there's always a way to fix it. Oh, that's adorable. That's a way less creepy reason than what I was worried about. Oh my God. That was all within one day. They didn't hook up. They just fell asleep talking. That's even more intimate and cuter. She's sneaking out. Why is she, what? 
Why is she sneaking out? They seem so good. <laughs> okay, I don't know much, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put your shoes on closer to the door, not in the middle of the living room so that as you walk, they can hear your every step as you're trying to sneak out. Aww. That's so sad. He thinks that she just wanted to leave. Why did she leave? That girl you blew me off for stayed over? Is the wrench supposed to be a metaphor for him that no one can be so broken that it can't be fixed or something like that? And that's why he's like attached to it. And then he's like, oh no, she left and broke it. I don't know. I think I'm digging up way too deep into this. I don't, I left before you could wake up. I don't know why. why why? Why did I? Why did you? Oh, she's just new at this. She didn't actually want to leave. You got cheese and bread. You didn't miss one ingredient. <laughs> and a grilled cheese, cheese and bread is kind of the main ingredients. You in love, man. Aww. I couldn't get her out of here fast enough. This girl's a disaster. She's a nothing. No. Oh no, what a horrible miscommunication. <laughs> Toxic masculinity. <laughs> God. I get that he's annoyed that she snuck out, but like, seriously, you can't take a girl not wanting to hang out with you anymore without calling her a disaster or a nothing? He's not giving off real good vibes right now. <laughs> oh! That was like a flashback. Okay, I was so confused for a minute. I was like, I thought the whole plot of this movie was them hating each other and then falling in love and then they just spent like the night together basically. Like, I was so confused. So this, that was like a flashback. Okay, gotcha. Now they're gonna hate each other because of that, gotcha. Ben, this is Hallie, my new girlfriend. <laughs> Are we saying that now? Uh, yeah. Where do I know her from? Wasn't she in Love, Simon and Tick, Tick, Boom? I swear that's the same actress. Okay, I think I know her. Or she was in Barbie too, wasn't she? How's the crowd in here tonight? Over there, big boy. Oh, gross. How's the crowd in here tonight? And she just points to a group of girls. Like, it's like their routine every time they go to a bar. Uh, he's not going very good vibes right now. This is Ben. We all grew up together. No. <laughs> Yeah, we met. <laughs> Barely. Wow, that's so oh. random. Wow, so random. <laughs> You're looking to sneak out. I know that's your thing. Well, I am a disaster. Whoa. She's her sister and he's her friend. Do you need a defense attorney? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. I thought she looked familiar, but I don't see faces. I just see souls. Same. <laughs> I'm engaged now. Good for you. Where are you registered? I'll buy you a broomstick. Okay, I'm so confused. He obviously knows now that she overheard him saying that horrible stuff about her. And he's not apologizing. Wouldn't that like clear everything up? Couldn't he figure out that she was still there or like came back? And then he was like, oh, I said all that stuff about you. Sorry. But instead they're just still fighting. Then I'm going to get a drink and toast to never seeing you again. Why do I feel like they're going to see each other again? I have an objection. Leo. They're getting married. <laughs> without their friends and family joining us to celebrate in Australia! <laughs> Wait, that was their invite? That's so funny that in parentheses, it'll be summer there, don't worry. <laughs> Isn't that Russell from New Girl? And also, what's his name, Gavin from Friends? I love him. I like him in New Girl better though. The only man that Nick and Jess both ever loved. The only man we both loved? Russell! <laughs> They're on the same flight. That's weird. Serendipity, I guess. I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> I love her sass. Claude told me you dumped him. Did you sneak out on your wedding day? Wow, you are a child. Why is he being such a jerk? He should be apologizing to her. She obviously was still there or came back and heard. Understand from her point of view and then realize that you're the one who was being a jerk and you're still being a jerk, my God. And he's just up there enjoying first class. That's so annoying. <laughs> Is she gonna take his cookie? Is she gonna like take a bite out of his cookie and just leave it there and let him be like, did I do that? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> He is so asleep. Why doesn't she put the cookie back down? I feel like this would be a lot easier if you're not multitasking. <laughs> oh my God. the song of the movie. He's listening to it while he sleeps. Oh my God. We're all staying at the same place? Yep, my stepdad's house. It's like that trope in all the romance movies where they have to stay in the same place together even though they hate each other. What? Okay. How cool. How cool is filming for this? My God. I think you do feel like you can't leave me alone. Same reason I slowed down at a car crash. <laughs> 
I was hoping you'd come. Of course, he has another past girlfriend here. Is he gonna have to choose between the girls? Well, you know, everybody thought that you'd be the one getting married first. Oh, that's a nice thing to basically gloat about. Tennis partner? Yeah. Well, sometimes after. <laughs> Ben's face is like, Ugh. Oh no. Oh no, no one knows she dropped out of law school. Oh. Russell. <laughs> How's our future lawyer? Great. Great? <laughs> I'm doing great. My big sister's getting married. Could have been you. Could still be you. Ugh. <laughs> her face. Why is her entire family like gloating that she's not the first one to get married? That's weird. My God, whoever did the fashion in this movie and the hair and the makeup for her. My God, she looks so good. Hate, liar, five words. No, just your <laughs> A woman who uses her sexuality to Love. take advantage of other people. <laughs> A woman who uses her sexuality to take advantage of other people. <laughs> oh my God. Your ego. <laughs> this is the funniest part of the movie so far. Stop. Oh, oh God. Girl. Oh my God. Oh, no! That's so sad. They're going to ruin our wedding. All that matters is that. <laughs> Look, baby, I love you to the moon and back. She's cutting her hair. That's so sad. The solution appears to be simple then. We return them to the night. I love his plan music. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> uh, this is so awkward. She clearly has eyes for Ben. Who does, father? Hallie Spencer's sister. He obviously knows that this is a setup, right? He was just too scared to tell him. But I've talked to her and she says she regrets walking out that morning. He is not buying this. Oh my God. Oh, I'm from a different generation. And your generation sucks. <laughs> Seriously? Oh God, they got to you too. What? What? <laughs> Thank God she's smarter. Do me a favor and swim out and get them. It's the one on the right swim into the ocean that far away wait what <laughs> to get sunglasses looking at their house i'm pretty sure he has more than one pair <laughs> oh, right. oh my god i would never make it that far that's terrifying are your eyes closed i think it's dark <laughs> oh my god you're hot girl fit <laughs> i'm not hot girl fit okay. see you at the boat don't leave him he's literally not gonna make it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I love that twist that she has to save him because he can't do it. All of her sunglasses, seriously. Look who's here! <laughs> I cannot believe they did this. Who is that? Is that, that is my ex, Jonathan? That's her ex. Why are they so set on making her get married to someone? My God, let her be in school. You know, maybe we should do it. Just tell everyone we're together. Yeah, that's gonna go perfectly. That's gonna go really, really well. She wants what she can't have, and then bye bye, Crocodile Jack. God, he's going so fast. What the heck? Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he's like, I gotta prepare myself. Don't leave me. I won't make it. Seriously. The mountains have been there for millions of years. A few more minutes isn't gonna hurt them. Oh my God, her hair is cut. That's so sad, but she looks so much cuter with short hair. Look at her hair. She looks adorable. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> Jinx, you, you owe me a coat. <laughs> Is that their way of trying to convince people that they like each other? We're coming, we're coming! Oh my god, it's so awkward. It's right. Yeah. It's great to see you. It's great to see you too. Isn't that the guy from Never Have I Ever? I haven't watched that. Wasn't he also in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Also friends with B, among other things. Oh god, that was horrible. That was horrible. That was so bad. I know I should have asked you, but we had to invite you. Did you? I feel like you didn't. I feel like you didn't have to. I feel like you wanted to so that you could control your daughter's life. I'm with Ben. Run away. <laughs> I'm with Ben. Okay, gotta go. Do you wanna come? I think I'm gonna hang back and yell at your parents. I like what's his name. I like her ex. He's funny. Oh my god, are there really koalas just all over the place like on random hikes? That is so cool and magical. <laughs> Were they not watching this whole time? <laughs> were they not watching this whole time? They were doing all of that. They were being that weird and gross and no one was watching. It was all for nothing. That's hilarious. We join your journey. We do not inherit the earth. We just <laughs> borrow it from our creatures. <laughs> okay, her brother. What's his name? What's his name? He's my favorite character so far in the entire movie. Maybe your mom can teach him how to dive. 
But she she passed away. That's such a weird question to say. Maybe you're this random man's mom can teach my husband how to die. That's so weird. His mom not being alive makes a lot more sense why his wrench was on display with like a light system on it. That's so sad. Just that magical moment when two people come together in this crazy journey we call life. Oh my god. <laughs> Probably thinking I'm 27, early 28s. <laughs> How old is he supposed to be and she's in school? How old are they supposed to be? I thought it might have been a line you tell all your one night nothings. You ever heard that too? I'm sorry. Okay, finally, things were horrible that he says about any girl, not just because she left before he could wake up. Are you kidding me? That doesn't warrant all that stuff. Glad he finally apologized. Fancy again? You're going down. What? even is this is this a real thing that rich people have they actually have a real almost real life size game of chess this is like harry potter <laughs> i'm waiting for them to reenact the harry potter scene now i'd be lying if i said i haven't been thinking about you yeah, me too wait okay, they have way more chemistry than b and ben they like hate each other basically actually is reenacting the Harry Potter scene where they like sit on the chess pieces. He's nice, but I think I'm looking for someone less casual, more romantic. Well, that's not him. That's not really him. Well, at the beginning it was. <laughs> What's wrong? Margaret thinks we're together. That's great. No. <laughs> that's great. No. <laughs> She's not going to break girl code, so we need to finesse our togetherness. We need to finesse our togetherness. <laughs> Look at your room, it's so much bigger. You got a painting? Wow, that's so red. <laughs> what is with him? Just the coffee? Are you serious? He's not wrong. Her room is gorgeous. Their entire house is so pretty. Love that. <laughs> you look beautiful. She actually looks like Cinderella. Oh my god, look at her hair. It's like in twirlies. <laughs> they love how they're all watching. She literally looks like Cinderella. The wind choreography, so good. <laughs> How did they get the wind to blow so perfectly with her dress thingy? That you can't handle hard liquor? Yeah, it smells still not out of my car. You know, I feel really bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really bad about puking in your car. <laughs> Gross, that was so weird. <laughs> well, at least that was subtle. Yeah, that was not subtle at all. They could really work on that. Why is everyone not subtle at all? Come on, <laughs> Dancing with her parents. Oh my god, it's so funny how much they all love each other. Oh. Let's go. I love how there's always room right in the middle of the dance floor for the for the main couple. Oh my god, I would be so nervous walking on that right next to the ocean. I guess the rail is high, so it's not that bad. I feel so claustrophobic there. Titanic me. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. This is so cringe. So is saying cringe, old man. <laughs> Cringe old? How do I not know that? This is never gonna work. Oh. <laughs> this is not going to work. Oh. Are they watching? Why did they have to get up to the very, very, very edge? Could they not have done that on the cushions back there? Oh my god, I'm so worried. Oh, oh my, my god. god. What? I love how he just turned away to walk away without helping her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why wouldn't you yell, I'm jumping in the water to save B first? <laughs> oh my god. All of a sudden, he's a super fast swimmer when it, when she's at stake. Why did you jump in? To save you. But you're a terrible swimmer. She's like, I don't need saving. You could have yelled for help and that would have saved me a lot better than you jumping in with me. We're gonna die. We're not gonna die. We're gonna get hypothermia. The water's 90 degrees. <laughs> My shirts. Yeah, that would be my worst fear ever. This is terrifying. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. It looks like they're going full Titanic. There is no. I love oh the god. commitment. I love the commitment. They're going full Titanic. Love the commitment. That's the funniest thing he said this whole movie. There is no way that they'd be able to see them in the dark. The harbor rescue has been notified. <laughs> Are all of the boats gonna be like? Rawr, rawr, rawr. They're all gonna come circling. Oh my god! No, they actually film this in the ocean. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, this is a green screen. That's gotta be a green screen, right? It looks real. They did a good job with that. We never fought. Is that a good thing? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a huge red flag. <laughs> I couldn't even tell him I quit law school. Aww. I love that she's telling him. We're gonna get eaten by sharks. I had to tell someone. <laughs> That's terrifying. Like, oh my God. I would actually be terrified. Why did you? 
It was the first time in my life that I felt fire and I had to blow it out. Oh! She actually did leave because she was scared. I was really hurt when you left. So I said all that terrible stuff about you to Pete. It's not how I felt. So is this the turning point scene where they're both like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is how I actually feel. This is how I actually feel. Promise me if we make it out alive, go see that from dry land. If we make it out alive, oh my God, they're getting me really worried here. You, me, and the opera house. It's a date. This is definitely the turning point of the movie where they actually start liking each other, right? Unless they never stop liking each other. Are you serious? They're sitting in helicopters? No. Oh my god. This is a terrible idea. Is this for real how they do it? This is so dumb. <laughs> of course they have to hug as they go up. This is basically the greatest showman. <laughs> Zendaya and Zac Efron. Like all they have to do is start twirling and then it would be just like the greatest showman. I love the greatest showman. I'm a little afraid of flying. I am unprinted. Can't read my mind. Oh God. Oh, she's singing the song. How do you know my serenity song? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I just signed a little bit. This, this is, is horrible. horrible. This is horrible. Oh my God, they are so high up. I would be so worried about falling. <laughs> this is so bad, but I love it. <laughs> No, that's the last thing I'd be doing. Oh my god, they are so freaking high up. I would not be doing that. How does that physics work? <laughs> Harbor rescue. They drove them all the way back to the house. It was fun. Stupid, but fun. Well, that's the best kind. Stupid things have good outcomes all the time. JJ Maybank. <laughs> I love Outer Banks. No, 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 it's hot. They're making grilled cheese again. Ah, oh, that's symbolizing that their love for each other is rekindling. Aww. Okay, that was actually cute. That was actually cute. That was actually really cute. He was about to back away because she wasn't leaning in and then she leaned in and then he was like, oh, okay, you went to kiss too. <laughs> Don't break the freaking glass, dude. Everything I do just feels like a mistake. No! B, that was horrible. And she's just gonna fall asleep after that? After saying that horrible thing that she basically thinks that he's a mistake? And now he's just thinking, well, she hasn't changed her thinking at all. She's just still thinking that I'm a mistake, which is why she snuck out the first time and she thinks I'm a mistake now. B, you literally just said that you thought he was a mistake. That's horrible. That's really bad. I was totally on your side, but that was not a smart thing to say. What are they? Is that a handprint? <laughs> Oh my god. What is on that towel? You are making it dirtier. Oh my god. <laughs> What's on that towel? I also showered last night. Two showers in eight hours? Go off, King, get clean! Go off, King, get clean! <laughs> What's his name? Pete? I love Pete. Pete's my favorite character of the entire movie. I put Margaret on it with you just to be safe. Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I get it though. All those it's rainbow tough. flags, is that for their wedding? Is that to symbolize them having their wedding? Or is that like a real place in Sydney? That's so cool. So she's single for basically the first time in her life. She just quit law school or- Did he just tell him that she dropped out of law school? That was not your secret to share. That was not your secret to share, dude. Does he not think before he says anything? Oh my God. Now Pete's gonna tell everyone and everyone's gonna know or it's gonna slip or it's something bad's gonna happen and everyone's gonna find out. My God. And she's gonna blame him because it is his fault. Miss, stop. You are gonna ruin all of those flowers. They're counting on you to deliver those flowers pretty and these are gonna be so messed up. They're gonna love it. Thank you so much. That is like the prettiest cake ever oh my god i want that that's so pretty stop it <laughs> no i know it's so pathetic excuse you oh yeah let's just steal <laughs> on their wedding day we won't get in trouble for that at all situationally is that an american thing i don't even know <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> so you're right if i have a go at him then if that's not okay just tell me Real. I do like that Margaret's like a girl's girl and she's like not just swooping in and taking Ben, you know? So it's kind of what I expected from like an ex. But I love that she's actually like asking B if it's okay and like what they are and she like wouldn't swoop in if they were actually serious. I like that. You quit school? You're just gonna pour gasoline on everything you've worked for? Don't drop the cake. No, I told Pete, but I didn't mean it like that. You told me what? That we're gonna find out at some point. That's your excuse? That's your excuse is that everyone was gonna find out at some point? Dude. There's a reason why you're alone. No one can trust you. Yeah, what's your reason? 
Guys like you. Oh, I like that line. I like that line. I like that line. I like that line. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, that beautiful cake. That's so I'm sad. I'm so sorry. No. Oh, they're actually upset now. Okay, y'all need to like pull it together. This is not your day. This is not your time. I know that everyone just found out about B's school situation, so th I don't blame her for being upset, but like stop being mad at each other. You can handle all this when you get back to the States and stuff. Like they're getting married. They're the only thing that matters right now, seriously. Oh, you've been more concerned about your planning. Are you marrying me or your itinerary? Oh. Then why are we even doing this? Oh no, this has got to be like another fake out, right? Like they're having this conversation right outside of his room. That has to be planned, right? Uh, if it's not, I'm so sad. I love them. <laughs> I love how they had to pan out to show her dress. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's your guys' big day. We're not gonna mess it up, we promise. Finally. The something I borrowed is a knife and it's shiny and new. I love them. I love them. I'm way more invested in their relationship than B and Ben's. It's like this win. It's in your bones. Oh my god, both of their dresses, both of their wedding dresses are so pretty. Oh my god, the dog was like the ring bearer. That's so cute. Is that the surfer dude? The surfer dude is playing the cello at their wedding? What? That's scary for me too, and I gotta figure it out on my own. That is such like a cheesy line. Oh my god. That's it. But only because we love you so much. Okay, I'm glad that they're apologizing. So I was like, you're basically the ones who messed up the whole weekend by bringing her ex here. And then she wanted to play along and like pretend to date Ben. And then like everything got messed up from there. Oh, they fixed the cake. That's so cute. Thank God that cake was so big and looked so good. He said he saw a wave he couldn't morally not serve. He could Imagine being with your date at a wedding and then he sees a wave and he's like, I cannot morally not surf that wave. I gotta go. That's hilarious. I wanted this for so long. He doesn't really act like he likes either of the girls. Ah, the classic crying in the car scene that every rom-com has to have. With the loud talking and the overhearing, just stop. Bro, we literally didn't know you were standing yes. there. Oh, they were actually talking? Bro. <laughs> Bro, we didn't even know that you were listening. I love her. Scour the city block by block. Scan the grid. First north, oh south, God. east, west. Leo, I know exactly where she is. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Why am I kind of liking it? <laughs> oh, plan to have a helicopter take him to be? You really couldn't get a cab? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Why don't you just pick people on my phone? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. I was so confused. I'm still so confused. Why they have a helicopter rescue them? Why can't they just pick people on my boat? Oh my god. I thought you were gonna regret it. And I couldn't face the idea of losing someone else that I... That you love. Aww. Last night was the first thing I haven't regretted in a long time. Okay, there you go. Oh my god, thank god she said that. She literally basically said that he was a mistake after they did it. So like, I don't blame him for thinking that she was gonna think it was a mistake. Like, <laughs> I like that she said that she didn't regret it. Okay, thank god. If I don't check all your boxes, if I'm not the one, I get it. I like that his character kind of leaves it up to be to be like yeah i want this because like whenever he first kissed her in the kitchen a minute ago before they hooked up he like waited for her to kiss him back right here he's saying like i like you but like if you don't like me then that's fine so i like that about his character so you're gonna kiss me now yeah i am Oh, that's cute. Was that like a flashback, like a parallel to whenever she was like, are you gonna ask me out now? And he was like, yeah, I am. Is that what he said? Cause that's, that would be a very cute parallel if that's what they were doing. I am oh God. <laughs> She's singing. No, don't sing. That's the worst thing ever. That's so horrible. I'm just <laughs> He's singing too. This is so good. This is so horrible, but it's so good. Oh my God. Now they're all doing it. That's even worse. It got worse. I like how whenever they probably cast the movie, they were like, the first thing you need to do is learn the song if you don't know it already. They're like, don't worry about your lines yet. You need to know the song first and foremost. <laughs> Oh my god, are they gonna get together? Okay, I love that. Oh, no, 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 we staged a fake fight so you guys would feel that and make up. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> They're 
were like, thank you. That was a really good performance by us. Yay! <laughs> that was so good. I mean, it was, you know, <laughs> I liked it. I liked it, which is which is a good thing in my book. Like, I liked it, which is shocking. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a huge rom-com person, so I did not expect to like this, like, literally almost at all. It was much better better than I thought it would be, but also I don't know if it lives up to the hype that I've seen. It's probably just because I'm not a rom-com person. I'm sure rom-com people are like loving this so much, but as someone who likes like action adventure movies and comedies more, I give this whole movie a solid 5.7 out of 10 stars, <laughs> which is better. I thought I would give it like a two or a three stars. It was, it was good. I liked it. It's definitely not the best rom-com that I've seen. Like I actually love Home Again starring Reese Witherspoon. I love that movie. That is the first rom-com that I ever was like, this is hilarious. So I love that movie and I watch that all the time. Like I can watch Home Again over and over and over again. So that's like my epitome of rom-com movies. Anyone but you kind of like ranks like somewhere in the middle. But like, that's just my point of view. I mean, that's just like my taste in movies. Like I don't like rom-coms very much. So like the fact that this was very, very cheesy and very rom-com-y, like I get people loving it in that way. Overall, Anyone But You is a very, very cute, fun time and I enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know as soon as I upload more movie reactions. And let me know below what other movies I should react to next. Remember to like this video and comment all of your thoughts on Anyone But you. Check out my merchandise shop called We Could Be Heroes Designs at the link in this video description below if you love heroic merch inspired by the fictional worlds of Marvel, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Teen Wolf, Outer Banks, Percy Jackson, and more. Be sure to follow me on social media at We Could Be Heroes Designs so that we can fangirl over movies together all the time. Definitely join my Patreon for all the fangirling fun and bonus content. We will 100% be talking about anyone but you in the chat. This reaction to anyone but you has been actually so, so, so fun and I cannot wait to react to more movies, so I will see you in my next video.